So uh, in this particular problem, so here uh, it is also very very important problem, Pascal and BTU examination. Uh, so reduce the system of forces shown in figure. So the figure is given. So we have to reduce this system into the first one is single force system. So we know that the concept. What is meant by single force? Single force is nothing but resultant. So combination of all forces acting on the body. So single force can be computed that is resultant value. And next single force and couple at A. So here at point A we have to replace this entire system by single force and couple. Next single force and couple at B. Now we are having another point B. At B this is entire force system. This force system we have to reduce into single force and couple at B. So this is the problem for 8 marks. Very very important problem. So very simple problem. The first thing is I will take single force. Single force. Single force is nothing but resultant. Resultant. How to compute resultant? We know that R equals square root of sigma fx square plus sigma fy square. So in this case, sigma fx there is no horizontal forces, therefore 0. Sigma fy, summation of vertical forces, sign convention, all upward forces are positive and all downward forces are negative. All downward forces are negative. Negative. So sigma fy minus 20. So because it's acting in downward direction, minus 20. Next plus 30 is acting in upward direction plus 30 minus 40 is acting in downward direction minus 40 therefore sigma fy equals minus 30 30 kilo newton 30 kilo newton now substitute these two values in equation number 1 in equation number 1 we are adding r equals square root of 0 minus 30 square minus 30 square it will become 30 kilo newton r equals 30 kilo newton r equals 30 kilo newton so we can replace the entire force system ab by single force this is resultant r this is resultant resultant r so this system is called single force system single force system so this is over this is over next what he is asking he is asking to compute single force at and couple at a b is single force and couple at the a point so this is a bar bar a b a b bar a b we know that here resultant is acting say resultant of 30 kilometer now we don't know the distance x but here we can easily replace two equal and opposite forces of 30 kN and 30 kN which means the system remains whatever the single force as it is because plus 30 minus 30 will cancels so this is a single force system why I have replaced the 30, 30 on a because we reduce this system whatever the system into single force and couple at a to create a couple effect I have replaced the resultant value same amount of value at point A so now I want to determine the x value how to determine x value the x value can be determined using Varignan's theorem of moment what Varignan's theorem of moment says the moment acting at whatever we require point is divided by resultant force is given distance by Varignan's theorem so x can be easily computed using Varignan's theorem that is magnitude of sigma moment at A divided by R divided by R so compute sigma ma 
how to compute sigma and a moment at a so here it's a a point this 20 with respect to a point is moving in this direction because of this a it turned towards a clockwise direction forced into perpendicular distance is 1 meter therefore 20 into 1 20 into 1 this is clockwise hence it is positive next second force this 30 moving in upward direction because of this distance total distance that is 1 plus 1.5 2.5 meters because of this 2.5 meter if you take a turn in force direction moving towards here it will rotate in anti-clockwise direction therefore minus minus 30 multiplied by 2.5 2.5 is anti-clockwise hence it is minus next this 40 moving in downward direction only because of this perpendicular distance because of this perpendicular distance 2.5 plus 1 3.5 meters 3.5 meters take a turn towards a clockwise direction therefore plus plus 40 into 40 into 3.5 40 into 3.5 it is clockwise clockwise now uh, any other forces there is no other forces only three forces 20 into 1 clockwise 30 into 2.5 anti-clockwise 40 into 3.5 clockwise that's all so compute sigma and a value what is sigma and a value compute sigma and a value so that is 20 plus 20 minus 30 into 2.5 30 into 2.5 what is 30 into 2.5 70 75 75 30 into 30 into 2.5 75 75 next 40 into 3.5 40 into 3.5 140 140 now do this sum plus 20 plus 140 that is 160 minus 75 160 minus 75 85 so 85 kilo newton meter now x is very easy to determine so sigma and a is 85 divided by r r value is 30 30 how much 85 by 30 2.83 2.83 meters 2.83 meters now can take this 2.83 meters now these two equal and opposite force with this distance created with respect to point a which type of effect anti-clockwise so this force 30 kilo newton and this 30 kilo newton will create a couple at point a will create a couple at point a so that is nothing but if you represent here you can represent here at point a you are having anti-clockwise effect of 30 multiplied by 2.83 how much 30 divided, uh, multiplied by 2.83 30 multiplied by 2.83 84.9 84.9 means 85 kN meter and what is remaining force this 30 kN is remaining force 30 kN this is point A so this is called single force and couple system at A point single force and couple system at A point next C C is single force single force and couple system at B couple system at B point single force and couple system at B point it's very simple now you take the bar AB this is bar AB bar AB bar AB say here resulted R equal 30 kN now I want to determine the distance x you take x now with respect to point B in previous problem I have taken x with respect to point A now you take with respect to point B replace two equal and opposite forces of 30 kN and 30 kN at point B so now you need not worry you cannot uh, use this equation at all you can use you are getting same answer because why? because I know total distance total distance is 4.5 what is this distance? 2.83 with respect to B 
4.5 minus 2.83. 1.67. 1.67. That's all. This is 1.67 meters. If you do whatever x equals sigma m b divided by r, you are getting the same answer 1.67. Clear? So don't waste your time. Directly you take whatever the total distance minus 2.8. You are getting 1.67. Now these two equal and opposite forces, these two equal and opposite forces of 30 and 30 with perpendicular distance 1.67 create a clockwise effect. So at point B, at point B you are having clockwise uh, e multiplied by 1.83. How much? 1.67. 30, uh, yes, 1.67. 30 multiplied by 1.67. 50.1. 50 50.1. You take 50 kilonewton meter. What is the remaining force? So I have considered this, considered this, remaining is upward 30. So upward, upward 30 kilonewton. So this is point B. So this is force couple system at point B. So this is very very important problem and very very simple problem. You just observe how to solve problem. I will explain one more time. So you just see single force. Single force is nothing but resultant force. Using general equation, compute the resultant value. So over, consider the system single force. Next you require single force and couple at A point, consider A point, replace A point by two equal and opposite force, same as resulting single force value. Here you have to determine X value to create a couple effect, two equal and opposite forces. For X use Warrington's theorem, that is sigma moment, which point you are going to consider, that moment, sigma ma divided by R, resulting. The Warrington theorem of moment, consider moment, compute the moment, apply whatever moment you are getting divided by resultant you are getting the distance this distance once you are applying these two equal will create a anti-clockwise effect the effect is 13 to 2.85 whatever once you consider these two forces remaining forces this 30 represent here this system is called single force and couple at point A similarly you have to determine single force and couple at B how to determine it's very simple don't waste your time by considering once again variable theorem and all you know the total distance, that is 4.5 minus whatever the x value, it gives remaining distance. Apply the same concept, compute the couple as well as single force. This is single force at B, single force and couple at B, this is single force and couple at A, and this is single force system. So, uh, this is a very, very important problem. Please follow this easiest procedure. Thank you.